Our inspiration is Paul Clay's painting, Castle and Sun, made from brightly colored shapes. You will need paper, scissors, and glue. So we're inspired by Paul Clay's castle and his other paintings of buildings. So we need lots of shapes. He made his paintings with lots of colors and shapes. So I've started some and I'm going to cut a few with you just to show you how I do things. One thing I love to collage with are the um, insides of envelopes that have some cool patterns. So you can ask your grown-ups if they have um, any mail and they have envelopes like this. You could even use the window if you wanted to. So let's see if we'll use that. I'm going to show you how to cut rectangles. You can cut a strip of paper and then just cut across. So a rectangle is taller one way than the other way. Okay, or it's longer this way than it is tall. So rectangle. I think it's easier to cut your strip first and then you can cut your rectangles. For a square, a square you're going to cut it a little bit wider. So then I'm going to kind, it might not be an exact square, I'm going to kind of measure how tall it is because a square is equal size. So mine went just a little below my knuckle. And then I'm going to cut my square. Okay, so I have squares. If you want triangles, a really easy way to cut triangles is to take your square and go from one corner to the other. Another triangle. I'll show you one more time. If you want to cut circles, you would need to get something you can trace. I'm going to trace this little jar. I think I was out of shot there. Let me do it one more time. And then I can cut out my circle. And the best part about cutting out circles is you're gonna have this cool bridge shape left over. So be sure to save that too. I like to keep, I have a box where I keep all my collage paper. So sometimes I save pieces like that that I might not use for this project because you never know when you'll use them again. Another fun thing you can use for collage is to take like a food box and cut pieces from your food box. So I already did that. I thought that barcode might be cool to put somewhere. Okay, so cut lots of shapes. Think of them as your building blocks for our castle collage. Once you have a good selection of shapes, you can start building your castle. So put your sh shapes to the side. You need some glue. 
And <clears throat> you probably want to keep your scissors nearby in case you need to um, change your shapes up a little bit or cut new shapes. I'm going to use this big piece of brown paper. Um, you could also use my favorite old go-to, um, cut open a brown paper bag, and then you can work a little bit bigger than a normal piece of paper. But if you don't have that, just whatever paper you can find for your background. And before I start gluing, I'm going to just build my castle so I can move it around. And you want to think of your paper like building blocks. So this part should be pretty fun. Don't be afraid to overlap. You can think about making patterns. Or if this were a city, what would your city look like? If it were a castle, where is your castle? Put that blue triangle inside of the red square. Okay, like that. My sun. Okay, so start building. When you get to a point where you have um, a pretty good city or castle being built, you might want to stop and start gluing those down. You can always go back later and add more, but I'm afraid if I keep adding too much, it is going to get too hard to glue them all down. So I'm going to take a little break here and start gluing because I really like what I have so far. Okay, students, I glued all my pieces down. I really had fun constructing that. And I took my time. And you'll notice that I overlapped shapes. Put my sun or my moon. I filled up my paper. So don't be afraid once you start to start cutting into the shapes you already have make little doors or roads, a little chimney. Let me go up so you can see the whole thing. Let it dry flat. And there you have your Paul Clay inspired castle, building, city, whatever imaginary thing you wanted to build with paper shapes.